This is an important video for an important person, and that, of course, is you. This topic has been on my mind all day, and this thought keeps coming to my mind that I need to make this video, so here it is. People are looking for a sense of normalcy, a return to normal, or even a new normal that might seem more realistic. That we would at some point come to a place where we could have regular routines, things will kind of go back to the way they were in the sense that the economy and society will be at a lower level of um, um, contention and derision and that we can return to a time where there feels like more peace and security in our society. And the message to, to you today, to the message that for the world, really, is that this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. Our time of judgment is upon us. We have wasted our resources and made poor choices as a society um, that have angered and saddened the Lord. He can't allow sin to continue forever. He gives us grace up to a certain point. And we, as a general society, as a whole, not all the people in, but most have latched on to sins that are abominations to the Lord. And, um, and the society won't be able to continue this way. We are already in the... Um, We've already passed the point where we could have, as a general group, um, repented and come to the Lord and turned the whole thing around. There are going to be an awful lot of people that, even if they heard the truth, would not believe it, would not accept it. And I'm sorry to say this because it's weighing heavily on my mind, and I don't want to burden you with this, but it's important for you to know, it's important for everyone to know, that the time is truly running short for last minute preparations of our spirits, of our minds, of the emotions in our heart. We need to steel ourselves for ridiculously difficult things coming our way. Challenges like you wouldn't believe. Things that you're gonna to have to dig deep to get through. You're gonna to have to dig deep into your faith and your strength to have a sense of fortitude to endure the trials and challenges that are soon to come upon us. And I am not talking about two years from now maybe not even two months from now. It feels imminent that something will change soon. And they already are, as you know. Um, our society is going through a great upheaval and people are mm, vengeful and hateful to each other, disrespectful. These kinds of attitudes, uh, men's hearts growing cold is increasing tremendously at a rapid rate. These are the kinds of things that happen before a society ultimately fails and falls. Um, and I truly believe that America will and several countries will follow. Um, this is the time that the great um, <laughs> destruction is upon us according to God's timeline in my opinion and that is my testimony. Um, God's society, God's... Um, Modus operandi is uh, order, peace, um, sequential things happening in a natural way um, that makes sense. And the devil's way is chaos and anarchy and destroying systems, pulling down leadership. Um, he tries to ruin what is uh, already in place that's working so that he can make things um, fall apart and he can rebuild it the way that he would like it to be under his reign, not the Lord's. And he is currently working very hard for this. I believe every moment of every day while you are sleeping, while you are working, while you are watching TV, he is succeeding. He is working very hard. All of his angels and demons, all of the followers are being given um, marching orders and this is happening on the Lord's side as well. I truly believe that. Um, the Lord has his battalions and they have been prepared from the foundation of the earth for this moment. And those that are following the Lord are starting to get their own instructions and um, receive guidance for their missions. We are all gonna have a different role to play in the next few years as things change dramatically. And so I would um, advise 
that this is a time to learn to accept change and ride the wave. Change is going to come hard, it is going to come fast. This is the time when you will see so much change. It will absolutely not go back to the way it was. It will never be the good old days, the way that we remember them. It's never going back to that. Um, God's kingdom will be established in a very real and powerful sense on the earth sooner rather than later. Um, but the destruction of the wicked has to come first and the destruction of some of the righteous will also come first. And so this time that we are gearing up for is an incredible opportunity, an incredible challenge for all Christians. You have a chance to really show the Lord what your faith looks like. And I believe that we will all have challenges where we will have to face a moment where we cannot sit on the fence any longer. We must declare our allegiance to God or we must betray him and leave him behind for maybe our own safety or our own comfort um, for financial reasons. I don't know what your um, specific challenge will be, but it's time to be strong. It's time to be strong and embrace change and also to keep a firm foundation on the gospel, on the words of the Lord. Even though a lot of changes are happening, the one thing that absolutely cannot change is vital that this does not change is your testimony and your faith. I hope you have a quiet assurance and a strong, calm, um, deep base of testimony in the Lord that just runs deep like the roots of a tree that will be necessary as the winds kick up and we have to withstand the storm of a lifetime. If you are not prepared, if this message feels um, alarming, you may not be prepared for what's coming. And I know that I am feeling that alarm um, rising in me because in some ways I don't feel like I'm quite prepared for um, whatever might come. I know that we still need to make some physical preparations uh, in my family that we would like to um, take care of. But uh, spiritually, I'm in, I think I'm, I'm in a good, a good place. But I pray for you that you can reach a place where you feel peace and ready to um, take on whatever comes your way. Something's coming. And um, it's going to be a great and terrible day, as the scriptures say, great and terrible. And I'll sign off and, and just want to leave you with that warning and a word of love and hope. There is hope. Even if you end up having to um, submit your will or your life for the cause of the Lord, because you will not, um, you will not submit to people that would have you declare that you don't believe, I think that's coming for sure for a lot of Christians. You're going to have to um, choose being left alone or being bullied for believing in the Lord. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to make that choice? Are you confident that you would know what you would say in that moment when you are being pressed for an answer? That is my question for you today. I know that hope is real even in these dark days, that the Lord will watch over his servants and those who love him. He loves his friends. And I can't even believe that he might consider us friends after all of the wrong that we've done and he's, he's covered our sins, but he generously considers his um, beloved servants, his friends in the end. What a beautiful message. What a beautiful thought. He is a beautiful spirit. I am so excited to meet Jesus and I don't think it's that long now, but I do think we're in for a couple of hard years and they're coming up very soon. I love you brothers and sisters. I'll talk to you soon.